welcome back to my channel. As you guessed from the title of this video, I am doing another swatch party. Now, quick disclaimer, guys. These videos are just to give you guys an idea on what the shades might look like on your skin tone. If you have a similar color to me, some people get really upset with me about swatch party videos and I totally get it, but you don't have to watch these videos if you don't want to. So please don't, you know, worry yourself if you don't enjoy these videos. I do upload every other day, so you can always skip this video and watch a different video. Also, you know, I do try to space out my swatch party videos, so I do try really hard not to upload swatch parties back to back to back, but I do have a lot of new palettes coming in, and I hope you guys don't mind, because I think they're a fun way for people to just see some of these products. I know some indie brands don't send out as much PR as some of the bigger companies do and I tend to buy from a lot of different brands so hopefully somebody on the internet is gonna find this helpful anyway I'm gonna stop blabbering and today I'm gonna swatch the Gimme Glow Cosmetics Summer Vibes palette I am so excited for this palette and I have not played with this yet because I didn't want to ruin it without you know doing my swatch party first because then you get to see like my general reactions to the product so here is what the packaging looks like I think it's so beautiful and I have the staple palette from Give Me Glow. I did do a swatch party video on this one. Sorry, it's a mess because one of my shadows did come broken. The shade Adorbs was broken. Now, I have not reviewed this on my channel yet. I do want to review it. I just feel like this is such a fall palette. I might just hold off on reviewing this and review it closer to fall time. Otherwise, let me know in the comments if you want me to review both palettes at the same time, which I can do. It just might take me longer. Also, I'm looking at the viewfinder and I do look really, really dark. And I probably am because I do tan very easily. We've been outside all summer, just soaking up the sun, enjoying our patio, etc., etc. So if you're like Karen, why are you like 50 shades darker? It just happens. I tan very, very easily and uh, it's part of the perk of being Asian. But I'm gonna do my best to, you know, swatch these guys for you. And if you haven't seen the palette, here is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. I just, I, I couldn't say no. I saw all the videos where people were like, well, if you take all the pops of color out, it really is a neutral palette. And I, I do agree with that, but these two shades, I just couldn't say no to. The weird part is I've been trying to wear blue on my eyes, and I'm like, you know what? Blue does not actually look that great on me. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that, but it's okay because I still love shadows. I think pinks look really good with my tan right now. So yeah, let me know what your like favorite shade of the summer is. I also really do like to wear yellow, so I'm glad there's a yellow in that palette. Um, what else do I wanna tell you guys? Oh, I got the new Pat McGrath palette, the highlighting palette, so look for swatches on that coming soon. I got my ColourPop foundation, so I'm excited to film on that. So there's gonna be a lot of good videos. You just, you know, kinda have to be patient because I'm a one-man show. But anyway, okay, I'm, I'm literally just blabbering. Oh, okay, one more thing. I do have a giveaway going on on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on there, hop to it. Just remember to follow me on Instagram and comment on my giveaway post and I will be picking a winner soon. So thank you in advance for entering that. And uh, yeah, let's get to swatching. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch the first row. Oh my God. Ah, lovely. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. This is the first row. I'm gonna put the shade names on the screen. That just seems to make things so much easier for people. Um, plus, I won't mispronounce anything. Oh my gosh. This, I literally wanted to buy this palette to see the shade in person. Um, the one called Summer Fling. It's so beautiful. Are you kidding me? And I think these two shades will pair so well together. That's what I like. If I could just get colorful palettes that had a matte shade and a colorful shimmer shade together so I knew exactly what I needed to do, that would just be so helpful for like just like life in general for me. So if any other, you know, indie brands are watching, um, if you're planning a colorful palette, try doing like mattes and shimmers together. It's so helpful for people that 
don't want to dig into like eight different palettes. Oh my gosh, this pink coral shade. Are you kidding me? And this tangerine. Oh God. Okay, so I just washed a little bit out of order. So let me. Oh my God. <gasps> Are you kidding me right now? Do you guys see how that coral shade swatch that's called watermelon and this shade firework is a beautiful peach golden oh god sorry I'm already freaking out I cannot wait I'm gonna wear this thing on my eyes tomorrow it's gonna be lit it's gonna be so lit I'm so glad I bought this you guys I'm telling you I know everyone's trying to talk themselves out of buying makeup but I feel like if you don't buy this palette you might miss out. Okay, so I'm going to put the last four shades right on the bottom there as well. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ah! This yellow, it's so pretty. Okay, let me just make sure I do this right. Okay, I don't think that's swatch the greatest, but I think it'll blend really beautifully. This champagne golden shade, oh my gosh, it literally looks like, it looks like butter. Like it glided on my skin so easily. I love these swatches, you guys. What do you think of this palette? Did you guys buy it? I'm so stoked that I bought it. I'm so excited. I love. Okay, let me also show you guys this. I did pick up one of their little lip kits. Uh, this is the best seller part one. Um, and this was so fun because it's 18 bucks and they're really tiny, which is great for me because let's be real, when am I ever gonna get through my liquid lipsticks? And they're so cute. The packaging reminds me of Jeffree Star. Oh God, I lost one. But uh, they're smaller than Jeffree Star's minis as well. So keep that in mind, but they're so cute. Let me swatch these for you guys. Okay, let's see here. Oh, cute little doe foot. Ooh, this is pretty. Wow, these are opaque. I have not put these on my lips yet. So the first shade is Girls Night. Next shade is a beautiful brown. Mmm, they have like a really yummy smell too. Is it like cake batter? I'm not sure. This one is called Dirty Pumpkin. Beautiful. I love those like nude shades. It's like a beautiful burgundy. This one looks like it's going to be perfect for fall. It's beautiful. It's called Sweater Weather. Oh, called it. And it's a fall shade. And then this one was really intriguing to me. It's called Pumpkin and Spices. So beautiful. It's like that beautiful terracotta color. It kind of reminds me of Kathleen Light's, um, what's that color she did with Ofra? Her Ofra collab? I didn't pick those up, so the shade kind of reminds me of that. Let me know if I am tripping or if I am correct about that. Okay guys, that is everything I picked up from Gimme Glow Cosmetics Summer Release. I am so excited to play with these and bring you guys some reviews. They also did two other lip kits as well as a gorgeous highlighting palette, but that palette was like $75 and I have so many highlighters. I could not commit to that price. I'm so excited for both of these items and I will be back with a review for you guys as soon as I can. So be patient with me. I love you so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.